Hello everybody, I'm Quirky Lee and today we're taking a look at Medieval Engineers. Medieval Engineers is actually a early access game that is found on Steam. Also, I would just want to say there's not many things that have been implemented yet into this game. So bear with them and me here. At most, creative mode has been implemented into the game. And let's take a little quick look at the whole thing here. I did load a world up earlier today. Alright, so I'll be right back in a few seconds once this thing loads up. This does, I admit the loading screens do take a long time to do. I could probably optimize optimize this a little, little bit better. Alright, BRB. Alright, uh, the game will be laggy and you might have some frame drops here and there. I think it might be due to these barbarians going to town over here on this castle. Oh, 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 lo loading screen. Alright. I have loaded barbarians into the game here. And some things don't work. Barbarian. Barbarian creams! <laughs> uh, I have a tendency. Since there's a prototype, they are very destructive at things, and they die quite easily for some reason. They got a very l short lifespan. <laughs> Anyways, I press X to go into flying mode here, and this was the castle. <laughs> okay, lesson learned. Barbarian creams have a tendency to be destructive, so you're not going to see the whole castle. Bummer. <laughs> but I'm pretty amazed at this game. Let's go over here away from this castle. Maybe the frames will get better. Oh yeah, they're going up a little bit. Alright, and are we at the edge of the world? Yes, we are. Okay, this is a good spot. All right, let's go over here and we'll place down. I'll just take a little quick. Oh, whoa, whoa. What just happened there? Did I just run into something? Did I just collide with trees or something? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That is funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, they've added collision to the trees. How about that? Last night they didn't have that. All right, so let's go into press. I press G here to go into all of the actual things that they have here. They got stone cubes. Uh, and all other got spiral stone cases, as well as little towers. Let's let's do a stone wall here. Let's do let's do a little tower here. Oh, yeah, click and drag, man. That's all right. Okay, that's a door. And that's a window, right? Yeah, that's a window, okay? Go with that. And we'll get a spiral staircase here. Alright. Uh, stone wall, that should be... Is there... Any floor in here? Let me see, floor, floor. There is some mechanical aspects to this game. For example, you got rotors, you got some tin torsion springs, and you got some things. It's going to be pretty awesome. In fact, I might show you some of the pre-built worlds that people have. We'll see about that. Okay, there we go. Wooden floor that's rounded. All right. Um, might need that too, and we might need this. We'll see. Okay, so let's get into this building this thing, shall we? So let's start with number three here. Place down one here. I uh, will rotate it with Q. Actually, that is, how big is that? Uh, 
And then we'll go here again, it'll rotate it. Uh, you can change the orientation with Q and E. And Y rotates as well. Alright, so we'll just do some straight. Okay, we'll do a wall here. Do one here, rotate, do it again. Rotate. Alright, so basically it's kind of how it works. Can I walk through? Oh, can't walk through when you're flying. X. This is supposed to be a, a door. Um, that's not a door. Did I goof that up? Is that a window by any chance? Alright, so one. One all if you and one on the hot bar there also removes by the way. Just thought I'd mention that. So this is supposed to be a door, but can I go through the door? Can I have to crouch to go through the door? <laughs> I can't do that. Uh what if I changed the terrain around? So we'll go into G, we'll go back to G here and we'll go to the voxel hand here. Alright, apparently there has been some issues with uh, some graphic graphics card issues with that I have. But anyways, it's not an issue for you guys. It's just because I'm recording, I would assume. Anyways, uh, I was going to go over here and go to the voxel hand and get myself a flat box. Okay. Is, as you see, we got these good old shapes, settings, and such. So basically, you go like nine, and you can go here, and you just flatten stuff out, oh, or place stuff down, uh, and um, that is the trick. It's kind of cool. Oh, oh, whoops! You can make moats that way by accident. Mm-hmm. All right. So if I'm not mistaken, if I go forward here, just some bit, it should level out, maybe. Oh, oh, here comes trouble. You, you see that dude? You see my tower? Are you coming to have a little fun with it? All right, enjoy. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Alright, now can I go through that? Um, X. Turn that off. No, I can't. Okay, that's not really a door, is it? Well, is he doing... He's, is he going to try? No. Nope. Okay. You don't know what you're doing, do you? All right, anyways, that's pretty much the gist of creative mode. You just build creative, obviously, and you just have fun with it. So I'm going to try to hop into survival mode here, into a survival world. Whoa, what the heck? What is your issue there, man? All right, I'll be right back when I uh, create another survival world, and we'll see if things happen there, or if that's even a thing yet. We'll, we'll see. All right. Here we I spawn myself into a one of the two house uh wonder <laughs> no not really uh two house I can't think of the name of it uh map <laughs> and it's pretty interesting you got a little tower over here you got a little bridge going over to this house and we got this Wonderful forests here. And we have a rope. So. Apparently, I don't know how to use the rope. <laughs> Can't really attach it. Um, 
Don't think there's any tools yet that for like chopping down trees. I don't think. Maybe we can fist it. No. Okay, that's that's not a thing yet. Okay. Yeah, alright. Well, anyways, maybe later on in the game, when this game actually gets a little bit more developed, we could probably pull that off. But anyways, this is pretty interesting. Okay, yeah. That's all it is. For the most part, it's just survival. I mean, a uh, creative mode at the moment. If you want to see me do a let's build of this game, let me know in the comment section. And I will attempt to... Think out of the box when it comes to this game. Okay. Anyways, that's that. Let's, uh, I I'm a little disappointed I couldn't show you a little bit more of the survival point of the game. But hey, later on, probably when this game gets more developed. Alright. Next thing I want to do is hop into one of the user generated worlds, perhaps, uh, created by other people. So I. Uh, be back in a few seconds when I actually load up a few of the worlds and well no I could probably do that right now haha <laughs> alright let's exit to the main menu no I don't want to save changes okay let's go to the workshop uh, this might not quite show on the steam overlay here um, okay this will open up the Steam Workshop view because the Steam Overlay is disabled. What? Okay. Well, looks like I'm going to BRB. When I actually get a few worlds to look at. Alright, I'm back. We are looking at an automatic Gatlin catapult by Leo. And it looks pretty interesting. Now the question is, does it work? How does it work? So, I would assume the crank is around here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Oh, is it right over here? Oh. Okay. How do you drive this? Ah. Ha, ha, ha. Is there something around here that resembles a crank? And sorry guys, I just bumped my mic on my knee. <laughs> How do you work this thing? I have no clue how this works. Alright, so... T? No, where's the crank on this thing? There's no crank. Okay... Is this a design flaw? Hmm? Oh, hey, there's a wall there. All right, anyway, it's a, it's a cool design, but I don't think it's operational. <laughs> It'd be awesome to see this in, in action. Maybe I could... Oh, wait a minute, is that the crank right there? It looks like it. Yeah, it is, okay. So, T. T, T, ah! All right, uh, well, you know, look, Ricky. Okay. I think, I think I got it. Uh, now the question is how to get this thing to work. Okay, well, it's a nice design. <laughs> All right, here is, we'll be moving on to yet yeah, another one uh, by Craft Agent 51. 
All I say is, holy smokes. How does this thing work? <laughs> this is uh, balls out of all the things in the world right here. Wow. Wow. This was working. A few seconds ago. Okay. Off. Aha. Uh -huh. So, T? Ah, okay. Okay, I see that. That will get it going. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Anyways, this game has a lot of potential, as you see here. Uh, uh, some of the mechanical things you can do in the game. Anyways, thanks again for watching. If you haven't done yet, you can always press the subscribe button. Also, if you give me a good like on this video. It really would help me out. It would help uh, let other people know that uh, this video is worth looking at. Alright. Bye-bye. And that was my phone. That was per per perfect opportunity there for an interruption. Alright. Thanks again. Bye-bye.